What gives? It's so much darker. After I hit record, it's like perfectly like lit and lovely, and then I hit record and it's like dim and dreary. So I don't even want to do it. But okay, um, I haven't been online much because <coughs> my laptop is not working at all. It won't get any power. So I can't edit any videos. I can't upload any videos um, anywhere to get them off of my phone. And they take up a lot of room. And so I just haven't been doing that. But, oh, things are good. Um, I mean, it is what it always is. And that is every bit as heavenly as it is hellish. So, you know, there's that. Um... I haven't been doing this, and I'm really uncomfortable doing it right now. I hate, I hate this. I hate being uncomfortable doing it. Like, when I'm not uncomfortable doing it, I'm, I'm fine. But I'm really out of the habit, and it just feels awful, and I know that I look awful also. But my hair is clean, and it feels so good to have clean hair. Um, so, I went to my doctor, and, uh... Told, told them about the bowel problems that I was having and said, oh, I think I have rectocell, I need a colonoscopy. And she said, you haven't had a baby, you can't have rectocell. And even though Medicare says on the form that like part of my yearly health thing is to get a colonoscopy, she was like, you don't need that. And crossed that out and like marked the Medicare like yearly checkup thing is done. And it really pissed me off. I've got to find a new doctor now. And, um, I continue to refuse. I, I just refuse to believe that there's nothing that can be done about the pain and suffering that I experience. I do not believe that constipation is what's going on when there's, like, a pocket and, like, membrane covering matter that I have to move out of the way, like, I shouldn't even have in my vernacular manual bowel movement. That's completely messed up. Someone should be like, uh, let's take care of that. She told me to, like, have more fiber, and it's, and it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't matter how, like, soft it is, or my, my muscle does the opposite of what I want it to do. Like, I have to really forcefully force out um, any, like, even minor flatulence. Just, like, it reverse. It does the reverse. It does the reverse. It, like, sucks everything back up inside of me. So, um, that's really frustrating. And I wasn't happy about that. Um, she almost was like, why do we need to test iron again? The levels were fine when you when you did it last time. Like, they were coming up. And and the thing is, is that I've been on an... Oh, it's like right there. I can't reach it. It's like an alkaline... Uh, alkaline vegan thing. And it's all natural stuff. And vegan, obviously. So plant iron, which is harder to absorb. And, and I wanted to see if since I went to the vegan iron supplement, if my iron levels were still where they should be. And, and she was like, oh, okay. And I brought the supplement to show her. And that, that was, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe that helped. But, but she, she was like, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll draw iron. Um, insurance might not cover it because they might think you don't need it, but we'll draw iron. So we drew for iron and I got the results back from that. After playing phone tag for like two weeks, I got results back, um, just Monday, that my iron is low again and I need to go back to the, uh, like Walgreens iron that is, tastes like bone meal. It's so gross. Um, so I can't do that vegan, which I'm not vegan now anyway. Um, with the new year, I'm doing the Stephen Gundry Plant Paradox Diet, and that has me eating fish and eggs. 
and like I like eggs they taste good just like the thought of what an egg is like ugh, the idea of an egg and like I've had experiences where I crack the egg and it's like partially fertilized or whatever or you know like when it's a bloody mess or there's like a partial animal in there and, it, and it's just like oh I can't but um, eggs are really super easy to make. Like, it's super easy. Like, for me, disabled person who has, like, little ability to do anything, little ability to do anything, I have is this very easy food thing in my life that it's very easy to make eggs and very yummy. So what you do is um, eat only the yolk, not the white. And all of the white matter that you get rid of because you're just eating the yolk, um, I just put olive oil in, put olive oil in, and of course, um, black pepper, nutritional yeast, salt, um, chipotle if I want, uh, chorizo eggs, like adding, I think it's chipotle, I don't remember if it's chipotle or chili powder, dang it, but Adding one of those things just makes it like chorizo and like you don't need to eat meat to enjoy chorizo flavor at all. So that's really cool. Um, and I did try eating goat cheese or sheep cheese. No, sheep cheese. Sheep cheese, sheep cheese. Sheep cheese. I did try eating sheep cheese. I did try eating sheep cheese and it did not go very well. Um, I found myself absolutely as mucusy as when I eat cow's milk cheese and it made me feel not good. So I stopped eating the sheep cheese. I stopped eating the sheep cheese. I stopped eating the sheep cheese. Um, even though it was like, oh my god, it was really yummy. The sheep cheese was absolutely excellent. I was like really hoping that my body would handle it. And my body did not. Um, I think that like the bowel stuff that I have problems with the dairy was not so pronounced, but the uh, mucus was like almost worse, almost worse than if I was having uh, cow dairy. Um, and and too much mucus means that I can't breathe well and I can't uh, sing well. So screw that. <laughs> um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, okay, so, um, I need to find a new doctor and get a colonoscopy because I don't want to have manual bowel movements. Like, going to the bathroom, number two, is, like, a traumatic experience, and that sucks, that shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> and, like, just, like, just, like, imagine how not sexy, like, you feel, like, like, Reaching inside of myself to remove fecal matter, like I never want to, I never want to have sex again. Like I, like that I'm not, I'm not a sexual being. I couldn't possibly be. I am, I am elderly and grotesque. That's all that I am, and you know. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, I thrifted Furby. I got. Come here, my little. Ten dollar wonder. Oh, oh he's gonna flop his ears. He's gonna flop his ears. 